Help is coming for repeat offenders in the Catoosa County Jail who are looking for a more productive life. Good evening, I'm Natalie Janareski. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Sheriff Gary Sisk announced a program today aimed at stopping that revolving door in the justice system. News Channel Lines' Brianna Arredondo joins us now with details on how it all works. Brianna. Latricia, Natalie, I first reported back in November that Catoosa County has a lack of resources to help repeat offenders clean up their lives, whether that was for drug addiction or re-entering the workforce. Well, now the Sheriff's Office is looking for local groups to step up for a new mentor program called Project Change. Leaders in health, education, and law enforcement listened for details today about why Catoosa County Sheriff Gary Sisk is launching a mentorship program for his inmates. So many people that uh, have been, been incarcerated or in trouble with the law, uh, some of them don't have the support that uh, some of us had when we were growing up. That need for support created Project Change, or community helping accomplish necessary growth and empowerment. The goal is to counsel nonviolent repeat offenders who want to break the cycle of concrete walls and metal beds. And everyone's not going to change, but I think the key is what Sheriff, the sheriff talked about today. It is a mentor who, who has an interest in that person who offers them hope and says, not just pretty words, but we're going to help you one step at a time. One step at a time includes getting local churches and business leaders involved. If we've got people working in this mentor program and they're trying to better their lives, then we also need businesses that are willing to take second chances for them. The sheriff told me it's all volunteer. No grants or taxpayer money is involved. Inmates who are leaving on probation will be paired with a mentor. State Corrections Commissioner Brian Owen says similar types of programs across the state have helped cut down the number of people incarcerated today. Those courts deal with people with addiction, with mental illness, veterans courts, to hold them accountable before they hit the prison system, but at the same time offer them treatment services to keep them out of the prison system. Sheriff Sisk gathered information from churches and other groups that are interested in getting involved today. Then the Sheriff's Office will compile that information to know what resources are available to inmates. And that ranges from Nicardic's Anonymous to people who want to get a GED. Natalie. All right, Brianna, thank you.